Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see here. Thank you so much for stopping by, tuning in. If you are new and you enjoy budgeting videos that use its real numbers, um, this may be a channel that you enjoy. So if you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you stuck around and did so. So we are halfway through the calendar year. We are at the beginning, I think, of a new academic year almost. For some people, I guess it depends on um, where you go to school and what time of year you go back or even if you're a teacher. Uh, and we are at the start of the new fiscal. So for all kinds of reasons, this is a great time to take a look at your budget and see if things are still working for you. Uh, maybe look at your process and see if paper is working for you. I love using paper, but I also use um, digital budgeting. I use um, Excel spreadsheets. Uh, so there's lots of different ways that you can budget, but I think this is a great time to just take a look at it, see if anything needs reorganized or maybe even a little bit elevated in the way you're doing things. And that's what I'm working on here. I did get some new items that I'm going to be using for my cash stuffing, cash spending. And I wanted to share those with you because I'm going to be setting these up and using these moving forward a little bit more. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I cannot say enough about these flexible soft cover binders with the snap closures. For all those reasons, they are such a great tool to use if you are, you know, saving sinking funds at home or if you just want to take this with you for your cash spending for the week, um, which is what I use this one for. But I'm going to give this one a break for a little bit and I'm going to try switching over to this wallet size. So let me give you a look inside of this. This is by Moterm. The packaging was amazing. I thought it was very well presented. This is the box that has an actual lid to it. Um, the box is really nicely constructed. I should have done an opening of this, but it is what it is. It's a wallet. Um, but I was really impressed with the way this came. So this is uh, a small pocket size, or I think it's yeah, I think it's pocket size, not called personal. And it has little tiny envelopes inside, which how handy is that? So you can put your cash in here. Obviously, you would have to fold it. So I'll demonstrate. I'll just take a bill out of um, my Black Friday fund and show you what it's going to look like. I don't mind folding. Some people probably have an aversion to that. For me, I don't mind that at all. Uh, and I just think the profile is very nice and slim and also it's going to take up far less space in my purse when I take this shopping. So it's going to look like this. So basically what I do now is I do have a Cricut, but I haven't used it in forever. And I don't know if you're a Cricut owner slash user, but I think sometimes when you get away from it, first of all, the design program sometimes needs to be rebooted. And I find it very difficult to ever remember my password. Um, but anyways, I feel terribly that it's just sitting there wasted, but it is. So I really don't make labels any longer, but I just write on the envelopes like you see here, and I just write what it is with a Sharpie. So I'm probably going to do the exact same thing. I think it's going to, I think it would look a lot nicer if I did print out some actual labels um, or lettering for this purpose, but I'm probably just not gonna. <laughs> and I think that that's so lazy, but I don't know. I just don't feel like going through it. So when you print out letters, especially especially when they're small, you have to do like the weeding, taking apart, um, or picking out the little, um, I don't know what's it called, like the framing of the letters. And I don't know, it just seems like a lot more work than I really want to get into. So I'm just going to write, I guess, Ray Dunn style, you know, the letters, um, large what this is. So this would be like, for instance, groceries, um, gas money, miscellaneous, health, so on and so forth. So I do have extras of these and I ordered these off Amazon as well. And as you can see, they just came in a plastic envelope. So I do have extras, which is nice. So if I decide to switch it around, these are fairly inexpensive. So if you do actually write on these, 
you can still replace them fairly easily. So what's nice about this wallet or personal organizer, whatever you choose to call it, um, or however you choose to use it, is it does have a pen loop, which is great. So you can put your pen there. And it does have some card slots. It also has a pocket here, and it's a full pocket, so it goes all the way over to the side. So you can definitely um, stuff this with whatever your heart's desire. And it comes with this piece also. So this is removable. And it has three additional card slots and it acts as kind of a divider. So if you wanted to put, for instance, if you wanted to put your weekly variable spending cash envelopes on this side, then have your divider and then maybe have, I don't know, some savings over here. You could definitely do that. Um, I probably won't use this for any type of savings because I want to carry this with me and I don't like carrying that much cash around. You never know what's going to happen or if you could lose it or whatever. So, um, But it is something that you could use that way. So you can use this as a divider or if you want to use this as a divider and use cash here and then back here, maybe use this as something totally different. What it does come with, can I find it? Mm. I feel like I'm not going to find it. It comes with little um, like loose leaf notebook paper. I don't know where I put that. I should have had that out. Um, so you can definitely use this as a spending tool as well. Wait, hold on. I got it. All right. So it comes with this paper here and you could use the divider, you know, maybe put your, your notes here and then your cash back here. You could do any number of... Um, setup ways. So it came with that and it also came in this drawstring pouch and it is kind of like a velveteen feel to it. it it's really nice. I mean I'm super impressed and inside it's almost like a mesh um, but really nice. It just came very well protected. So I chose this white color. It's it's almost like a bone like a bone color not so much ivory but you know that kind of bone shade um, and it's really really beautiful. So here you have a zipper pocket and it's just kind of a repeat of your little zipper envelopes but if you want to you know use this for something um, specific and then back here this is huge this opens up the entire width and length of the wallet so you could definitely put cash back here if you weren't going to use the envelope system, but this can hold so much. I mean, you could literally fold probably a half a sheet of paper, maybe not quite, but you can definitely stuff this with a lot of different things. And then, of course, when you're all done and you're ready to put it away, it does have a snap closure, and I prefer a snap closure um, in route in comparison to a magnet because it's just more secure and the back is just very plain. So I'm gonna be using this for my cash spending and you'll see me set that up in my variable video coming up right after this. I also got this really nice and super plain cash holder. So this is something that I can use when I go to the bank and I take my money out of the bank envelope that I'm going to use for cash stuffing, whether it's for sinking funds or whether it's for variable expenses. I can put the cash in here and get it ready to do the video rather than have an envelope that has my bank's name on it, which isn't a big deal. I mean, it's I don't think it's any privacy breach to know where somebody does their banking, but it's still just another layer of, inf of information that's really not necessary to put on the internet. So I'm going to put the cash in here and have it ready to go, which I do for my upcoming um, stuffing video. And it does have kind of like this um, felt inside almost like a felt and again another maybe velveteen um feel to it it's really nice and then i have my cash ready to go and it has a nice secure snap so when i go to the bank i can take the cash out of the paper envelope discard it and put it in here and i will be ready to go this is also super plain so you can also carry this around if you just want to put your cash in here so if you are somebody who is very minimal and you want to maybe have something that is has a super slim profile because this has some cash in it i mean it's not super stuffed but it does have money in it but you can see i mean it's it's taking up literally no space when it comes to the thickness of what this piece is so this is really nice and again it may be something that just serves its purpose and this is enough for you but this is also um 
found on Amazon and I will try to get a link to this as well. I have links to the other two. They're like these big clunky links you're gonna see down in the description because I can't get my affiliates to work. It, I can't get the actual product link feature to work the way it used to. I used to get these really nice short links that I could add to my description and I cannot figure out a way to do it. And it's been a while since I did it, but it's just not giving me all the cooperation. And it's probably, I'm, I'm sure it's my fault. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. So I have all these like little microplastic, <laughs> like, um, you know, the, like where you put the rings, they pop out. I don't know. All right. So finally, for some of my sinking funds, I'm going to be using this clear binder. And I don't know why I bought this, except that I just like the look of it. So I'm going to link this down below too. And it also has another option for, it almost has like that unicorn iridescent look to it. You don't have to get the plain clear, but I'm also going to be writing my giant <laughs> descriptions on the envelopes inside of this. And it did come with these zipper envelopes, but I do have extras of these because they're the same exact ones that fit the current system that I'm using, the current binders that I'm using. So I'm going to transfer my sinking funds into here, or maybe I'll use this one for my savings challenges. I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to use it for sinking funds for a while. So it is pliable. You know, it, it will lie flat. It seems like however you lay this down on your desk or wherever, however it lays is kind of like the shape that it adopts. I don't know. It's really strange because it has this curve now. Um, and it's probably just because of how I had it lying here. But I think when this is stuffed with some cash and it starts to have a little bit more shape to it, a little bit more form, it'll all kind of like, I don't know, it'll, it'll all kind of work out these, these waves and kinks, but it does have the snap closure. So it is basically the same item as this. It's just clear. So again, it wasn't a necessary purchase. It's just something that I wanted to do to switch things up for a little bit. Budgeting can get quite boring. And if you're somebody who has your own or works your own budget for your household or a personal thing, or maybe you do a budget for work, you know that it can be a very dry process. So I think adding in these little details and the items like this can really help um, make it something that you look forward to or inspire the savings process or inspire even a little bit of creativity when it comes to how you're budgeting. Um, so that's the only reason behind this. I just wanted to see something different and use something different for a while. Um, usually when I, when I buy something and you guys know, I've had this tool notebook cover forever. I've had it for years and I'm still using it because it still makes me happy to look at it. But do I need a new notebook cover? No. Will I ever get a new notebook cover? Probably. Um, because it's just fun to change things up. So that's why I wanted to share these things with you because in my upcoming videos, you're going to see me working with these items. And you may be like, hey, when did she switch those? Or maybe you won't notice at all. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to put it out there. And in case you're looking for something too that can help you um, reorganize your system or refresh your system, um, I wanted to put these things out there and show you um, what's new, at least what's new for me. Oh, this has a little Motrum tag too. I guess I saw this, but it didn't register with me. This is really, really well made. I really like this. So they have all kinds of binders and planners, a, a whole system. So if you're not familiar with the brand, definitely just search it on Amazon and you will see so many items come up, hundreds and hundreds of items and see what's out there and maybe something else will speak to you. They have all different sizes and um, different binders for all different reasons. So that's it. I just wanted to give you that overview. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, thank you so much for spending time with me. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Take care.